I am Peter Stang and I build molecules, big ones and fun ones. Imagine kids playing with Lego blocks and of course they have a plan in front of them and they build a house or build a train or build some other things. Now imagine if this were to happen spontaneously. The pieces would just come together by themselves without uh, the kids doing anything. Well, that's self-assembly and that is what we do but with molecules. How exactly it happens and, and how many steps are involved, we're not completely sure, but we do know that the steps have to be reversible so that if a molecule comes together the wrong way, it can come apart. Self-assembly is also what we call self-healing, self-correcting, and that's why nature uses it, because nature can't afford to make a mistake. And so nature uses self-assembly because it's self-correcting. There are lots of examples in nature. Perhaps the best one is protein folding and DNA structures that, of course, are uh, examples of self-assembly that uh, all living organisms, from the simplest to us humans, depend upon. You know, we use uh, very the same building blocks to make a large diversity of molecules, different cages, different two-dimensional systems. So we can get, for example, dodecahedra, we can get what's called cuboctahedra, we can get other three-dimensional cages, we can get simple two-dimensional, for example, a triangle. I like to do the fundamental work and have the fun of discovery and then let others become rich off of using this in applications. One potential application that we and others are working on is uh, targeted drug delivery, where we build, for example, molecular cages which on the external or outside are functionalized or decorated, if you wish, with molecules that recognize cancer cells as opposed to normal cells. And on the inside carry a cargo, namely an anti-tumor agent, that then is delivered to these uh, cancer cells. And uh, we call that targeted drug delivery that uh, will hopefully then diminish the side effects of drugs, will increase the efficacy of these drugs, uh, which is all important. The uh, other applications that we and others have found is, for example, as sensors. So detectors, for example, for explosives. Again, at this point, in more of a proof of concept way rather than real application in the real world, but that's coming. I would like to see some of the um, drug development or drug targeted drug delivery, for example, that I mentioned come to full fruition rather than just uh, a concept and proof of concept. I would like to see um, useful sensors developed uh, so that, for example, you could go to a doctor's office and have your blood or your urine analyzed right in the office, right there. Uh, and get all sorts of data out of it. I always, when give lectures, I joke. I tell the audience that I have a nine-year-old granddaughter, and she can do these experiments, because all you have to do is take the two components and mix them together, and kids love to mix things, and they come together and form beautiful structures. <laughs>